lab-grown chicken. A lab-grown chicken nuggets. Chicken grown in a lab. U.S. regulators have approved the sale of chicken made from animal cells. Lab-made animal protein from the company's Good Meat and Upside Foods is now clear for production and sale in the U.S. Have you ever imagined a world where burgers are made without cows and steaks are grown in labs? Well, this used to sound like a scene from a sci-fi movie, but it's the shocking reality about the future of our food. In this video, we'll dive into the revolutionary science of lab-grown meat, its game-changing impact on our food industry, and the ethical, environmental, and health questions it raises. We'll also discuss what the FDA has to say about this mind-blowing innovation. Trust me, by the time you're done with this video, you'll know if lab-grown meat is destined for culinary stardom or if it's just another perilous attempt to outdo Mother Nature in the kitchen. So, grab your cutlery and let's dig into the world of lab-grown feasting, shall we? The frenzy surrounding lab-grown meat began as a response to the problems posed by regular livestock farming and its environmental effects. It was a groundbreaking idea that was said to offer a potential revolution in how we approach meat consumption. The innovative method involves scientists obtaining a small sample of animal cells, almost like performing a miniature biopsy. Subsequently, they provide these cells with optimal care within a specially designed laboratory setting, ensuring they receive all the necessary nutrients for robust growth and replication. As time goes on, these cells start behaving just like the muscle tissue you'd find in your favorite steak or burger. They even get a little workout to develop the right texture. To make it tasty, scientists add natural flavors and adjust the fat content. Once it's ready, voila! Your cell-cultured meat, aka clean or lab-grown meat, is born. Afterward, they proceed to harvest it by crafting the meat into familiar food favorites like burgers, chicken breasts, nuggets, and even drumsticks, minus the bones. When considering the inception of this meat variety, it can be traced back to the late 20th century when visionary scientists and researchers began harboring ambitious aspirations. They wondered if it was possible to produce meat without the conventional process of rearing and slaughtering animals. And that's when the journey to lab-grown meat started. Fast forward to the early 2000s, and the idea of making cultured meat started picking up again after a visionary named Jason Matheny co-wrote a game-changing paper that put cultured meat in the spotlight. But he didn't stop there. He also founded New Harvest, which happens to be the world's first nonprofit organization devoted to in vitro meat research. Right after that, more scientists jumped on the bandwagon of developing biocultured meat, and this resulted in the establishment of numerous lab grown meat facilities and companies throughout the USA, with two of the most renowned ones being Good Meat and Upside Food. These lab grown meat companies have one simple mission to make sure meat stays on the menu while being kinder to our planet. To top it all, both the Food and Drug Administration FDA, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture USDA, have officially approved lab-grown meat for sale in U.S. markets, even though they are yet to make them available everywhere. But amidst the excitement about lab-grown meat, a truckload of questions comes to mind. How healthy is this lab-grown meat, and what kind of impact could eating it have on us? But perhaps the biggest question is will lab-grown meat replace real meat in the near future? Well, you're about to find out in a jiffy. By 2030, the lab-grown meat market is set to potentially hit a staggering $25 billion, as reported by McKinsey. Although the acceptance of lab-grown meat is on the rise, it's fair to say that it has quite a distance to go before it becomes a household staple. So what makes lab-grown meat any better than real meat? According to the manufacturers and scientists driving its creation, Lab-grown meat offers a method to enjoy meat without causing harm to the environment or animal. It conserves land and lessens greenhouse gases, thereby aiding the preservation of forests and endangered species. They further argue that this approach reduces the need to confine animals in cramped spaces, which would significantly curb the transmission of diseases to humans. And since the agricultural sector relies extensively on antibiotics for livestock, not only for disease prevention, but also to stimulate growth, Lab-grown meat is an excellent substitute, as it offers a promising solution to reduce the need for antibiotics in animal farming. However, despite these juicy insights into lab-grown meat, it's crucial to note that it's not without its drawbacks. Lab-grown meat has continued to face significant criticisms for not living up to its eco-friendly claim. In fact, some research suggests that if they were to scale up the current technology for lab-grown meat, 
it might produce more greenhouse gas emissions than traditional farming. The reason behind this is that small-scale lab-grown meat facilities currently rely on non-renewable energy sources to operate. And since lab-grown meat is still a recent innovation, its effects on public health are not yet fully understood. The rapid and unregulated growth of cell line raises worries about the possible disruption in the production process. An important health concern that has been on the minds of many critics stems from the rapid increase in cell growth in lab settings, which might potentially encourage cancer development. Some researchers suggest that consuming lab-grown meat with these irregular cell lines could lead to unforeseen effects on human health, although the exact impact remains uncertain. So, the long-term impact on human health has become a major cause for concern among medical professionals and critics. While lab-grown meat is advertised to perfectly mimic the taste of conventional meat, it's important to note that the authentic taste, flavor, texture, and variety of animal species and breeds found in the traditional meat cannot be perfectly replicated in lab-grown versions. Yet, with all these concerns in mind, the safety of munching on lab-grown meat is still up for debate. People are rightfully pondering its health effects, which are a bit of a mystery right now. So, it's a smart move to keep an eye out for any fresh news or updates about lab-grown meat. I guess only time will tell if this exciting breakthrough in meat production will meet our expectations or join the ranks of daring experiments gone wrong, leading to recalls due to potential harm to our health and overall well-being. And rest assured that we'll be here to keep you in the loop on that. So stay tuned for more information as things unfold. Now tell us, Will you ever try lab-grown meat when it's finally on the market near you? Let us know in the comments below.